It's three played and three losses for Norwich after facing Liverpool, Man City and Leicester in the Premier League. But now, favourable matches are upcoming for Norwich, such as a six-pointer against Arsenal. And Norwich might have something up their sleeve to start getting points on the board. As the Premier League season is now underway, you'll want to be the one to know how each player is performing and to be able to do that, you can use OneFootball to view all the stats in the Premier League. You can also view stats for individual teams. So for Norwich, we can see that they've averaged 42% possession. And for the more detailed stats, you can view things such as tackles won, interceptions, total passes, total crosses, goals, and if they were scored inside or outside the box. And then it's the same for individual players. So here are all those same stats, but for Billy Gilmore, the new signing for Norwich City in their midfield. As well as keeping up to date with the latest scores, the latest news, everything in the Premier League, you need to download OneFootball on your phone and to do that you can simply click the link in the description. In the Championship, Norwich were able to improve on their 2018-19 promotion season as an improvement in defence was seen. They still set up in a 4-2-3-1, but the amount of goals conceded was a lot less, 57 in 18-19, but then 36 last season. Now, the team has changed quite a lot from what we saw last season, especially in the midfield. Oliver Skip was on loan from Tottenham Hotspur, and he was an integral part of their team. He was a ball winner in the centre of the pitch with 100 tackles won last season. They're missing that this season, but replacement have been signed. Billy Gilmore is on loan from Chelsea and isn't the exact same type of player to skip, not as much of a ball winner, but still with the same qualities in terms of on the ball, a dictator of tempo and can play great passes forward. Another signing is Lays Malou from Nice and he's really the one coming in to be the ball winner. Last season he won the most tackles for Nice and you can expect the same for Norwich. The centre-back partnership in the opening Premier League matches has been Hanley and Gibson, the same as to what they were playing in the Championship. They lack pace and that was seen against Leicester as Ricardo Pereira breezed past Gibson, but a new arrival in Ozan Kabak will help make the backline younger and more mobile. Where we can already see a big difference for Norwich is the recruitment coming into this Premier League season. Compared to the 2019-20 season, they didn't significantly improve the squad. Only two players that they signed then played over 1,000 minutes in the Premier League that season. They mostly relied on players who were already at the club, which is fine saying that they had Bundia, Cantwell, Godfrey, Lewis, a goal scorer and Pukki. But looking back at the squad that season, there could have been improvement around those players. So this season, we've already seen the new signings at Norwich having a big part to play in the first team. Gilmore, Rashidza, Leeds Malou, these are players that weren't at the club while they're in the championship, but are now important players. And the quality of players that they're signing is better than 2019-20. to Rashidza was being looked at by Aston Villa only last season. He performed well in the Bundesliga and could definitely play at a higher level. Leeds Malou is a good age of 28, experienced in league. Liga 1, showed leadership by being the captain of Nice last season, and he's a well-rounded midfielder who will be influential to Norwich's performances. Billy Gilmore has shown great promise at Chelsea and playing for Scotland too. For Norwich, it's a top signing of a midfielder which could play defence-splitting passes, which could lead to goals being scored for the team. And then there's a couple other signings, which is really what I want to get to. These are the ones with the most promise, where Norwich could find success to get results and ensure Premier League survival. Winger Chris Josh Solis and striker Josh sergeant joined permanently with defensive midfielder Matthias Norman joining on loan. Firstly with Norman he joins from Rostov after previously being at Brighton he's 25 now and has developed his game to become a quality midfielder. His best attribute comes in his passing of the ball playing forward progressive passes which means the ball can get into advanced positions quickly. As well as progressing the ball through passing he can also drive forward with the ball from deep and dribble past the opposition he made the most successful dribbles last season for Rostov. Also with a good understanding of the game, making him a good midfielder out of possession. As Norwich attempt to keep the defensive quality they had last season in the Championship, a midfield of Norman, Gilmore and Lays Malou looks really good. Norman can recover the ball well and regularly wins possession before the ball enters dangerous areas in the defensive third, so Norman in the midfield could help Norwich in conceding less goals. In attack, Norwich have signed Zolis and Sargent, adding to other exciting attackers such as Cantwell and Rashica. What they have in Zolis is a young winner that has already shown fans what he can do in a Norwich shirt as he performed well against Bournemouth in the Carabao Cup. Two goals and two assists he got in their 6-0 win against the Cherries. It was clear from this match that his speed and movement into space will be key for Norwich and that is how they could find goals. He's a brilliant signing of a young player with potential that could easily have been signed by another club around Europe. 
As he's right-footed and predominantly plays on the left wing, expect him to cut inside often as crossing on his left foot isn't too strong. He'll be trying to score goals by coming into the box and shooting with his right. Also against Bournemouth, we saw how the partnership of him and Sargent could be how Norwich score some important goals this season. He got two goals and one assist and his goals weren't exactly pretty, but that's exactly what Norwich needed. A player who will be in the right positions where goals can be scored. Sargent also brings pressing from the front and in fact it was seen against Bournemouth that led to him getting an assist and it was seen in the Bundesliga last season too. He attempted 549 pressures, that's the 12th most in the Bundesliga, and 188 of them were in the attacking third and that was the 10th most. And that really suits Norwich as that's what they're all about. So he's what they needed as something different to Timu Puki, who we saw before lacked the quality to stay consistent in the Premier League and he is 31 now. Christos Solis gives them unpredictability and movement as well as an ability to be dangerous in the box. Sargent is a young striker to score goals also with the mobility and a creative side to his game where he can come deep and probably play passes for Zolis running in behind. These two could be exactly what Norwich were looking for to survive this season. So let's take a look at this first 11. It's suddenly a lot better with attacking options of Cantwell, Zolis, Sargent, Rashica, Puki. The attack is a strong area but I think the midfield they've built here is what might be the difference in some matches. Gilmore, Norman, Lays Malou, a nice balance of qualities here Ball winning, progression on the ball with experience and potential is a good area now for Norwich. The defence is probably the weakest area with Williams being a new signing on the left. Gibson and Kabak with Hanley dropping out of the team for the new signing and Max Aarons on the right. It's a better looking lineup for Norwich but do you think it can keep Norwich in the Premier League? Leave your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video then please click the like button as it massively helps the videos being found. And for more insight and analysis, subscribe to Route 1.